Hey, what's going on? I'm PJ North, and um, this is the listening slash hype video for my new EP called Part Time Cowboy. I want to talk about where I, where that came from, where the music's at, where we're going, all that type of stuff. So first, uh, big shout out to Nick Olaya, man. He's been my partner in crime since doing this whole country music thing, um, and I just appreciate it. He wasn't here for the video because he knows I'm the pretty face of the group, so it's all good. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my man JC Jazz not helping me shoot the video. Thanks as always, brother. Um, big shout out to Anthony Cobaspati who shot the pictures for the album art as well as some of my promo pics. Man, without you, dude, I wouldn't be here. Thank you so much. He helped me with Party of One as well. Uh, big shout out to Halen Buadana, Liberty Deep Down. He did a lot of the pre-production on the music as well. So thank you, dude. Uh, BJ Davis over at Sonic Lounge. I've been working with him for like 11 years since I've been really doing this music thing. And uh, he's helped me grow as an artist. So thank you, brother, man. I appreciate it. I won't forget you. Uh, my man Mike Carpenter over at Drag Illustrated, who's done uh, all the album art. Thanks, man, for taking the time. I really appreciate you helping me out as well. Thank you. Uh, everybody else, man, who's helped me, thank you guys. Um, just from the bottom of my heart, you know, when, I'm, when I leave Ohio, I won't forget you guys, so thank you so much. Uh, now we'll get into kind of the part-time cowboy and where that came from. Um, as you guys know, I've been a hip-hop artist, so, quote-unquote, for about 11 years. Um, but in reality, it's been pop music. Um, and now everybody's like, oh, you're just gonna be a country artist? And it's not really like that. I think uh, for the last two and a half years, I've really been doing demo music um, to kind of see, hey, do I have what it takes as a country artist to do this? Now that everybody's blurred the lines, there's really no genre to me, right? So if this were rap and this were country, my music's always been right here. And yeah, it's kind of teetered one way or another. And I've released a lot of records um, just demo versions um, for the past couple years and we really think now we're at a place where we can really do whatever we want <laughs> um, I'm at the point where I can put a rap song on this country album and I don't care um, I don't think I need to right um, as an artist this is where I am um, this is the music I want to make like I said uh, and this is I, I'm not gonna stop being a hip-hop artist and you're gonna notice that in this music um, so we'll kind of talk about that part-time cowboy why that's relevant is is because of the same that same thing I've been a hip-hop artist but as I grew up I grew up on country music since the young age of three four years old when I started really getting into it my first concert was Brooks and Dunn and I wore cowboy boots a leather vest and a cowboy hat not much has changed um, yeah I'm a little more hip-hop than that um, now but you got to think man I grew up at, at racetracks all over the country um, drag racing in, in, in small towns and all that stuff. I played shows in small towns and I think that I'm at the point, like I said, where I can really do whatever. And so part-time cowboy is a really reflection of how I am as a person, right? Um, I might wear suits every day to work, but I wear boots and, <laughs> and dirty jeans to racetracks and I, I drive a pickup truck and things like that and, and I grew up singing Garth Brooks and and Tim McGraw and, and all that stuff. So that's really where my, my music's at. Um, and I think it kind of reflects that. So, Yo, so the first song I want to talk about is Mud on the Tires. Um, this was a song that we redid. Uh, it demoed crazy. The, the most popular song I've ever put on SoundCloud. Somehow it got shared and people talked about it and it kind of blew up. So we wanted to do a real radio version. Uh, where this song comes from for me is just like, this is like that, that rock slash pop country that we wanted to make. And this is a really good uh, first song on the album. It just really hits, and we're really excited, um, you know, to, to share this with everybody. So uh, this is your first chance. Check it out. The real version of Mud on the Tires. Money, and if you want to ride, we can do it. Take this thing out to the moon. We can live young, free and wild. And take this thing past the city limits. Get out back your way. So this next song right here is City Lights. Uh, and actually, the name of the album was going to be City Lights and Old Tailgates. But we thought, you know, that, that maybe is a little, we need to share that for, for a whole album. So uh, this song is really as, as what we quote unquote call bro country or pop country. And, and I'm okay with that. This is, this is the type of music I want to make. And this song really brings out the best of both worlds for me. My hip hop stuff as well as the real country music. Um, it's got kind of the best of both for me. And uh, we really, really excited about this song and where it's going to go. We think this could be the title track of the album. Um, like we said, we, we want to name a whole album after it. So we're really excited about this. Radio Country, I hope they're ready for this. So check out City Lights.
Yeah, that dragon wants to tune it up. Come on, baby, let me show you this real life. Take you to the country and show off these street signs. Top down, hand throwing up the peace sign. Muddy wheels shining and all this. City lights in this town to keep me warm. Hey, so this next song right here is called Young, Dumb, Drunken, in Love. And we're super excited to share this one. Nick's friend Cindy, professionally trained opera singer, actually sang the harmonies on it. And she took it to a whole nother level. It's, it's crazy. And where the song comes from is that young love where you don't know where it's going to go, but you're just kind of living in the moment. It's actually the country version of my man JC Jazz Knox for the summer, and it, it plays right into that. So we're really excited. Uh, young, dumb, drunken, in love. Check it out. Those back roads, the only place that we go. <laughs> we like song right here is over you by the night I'm, I'm really excited about this this is the first song we finished um, and I'm really excited because it's, it's totally different I got the inspiration from Adam Sanders who's a songwriter singer um, who wrote hell of a night for Dustin Lynch and hell of a night is actually how I felt mud on the tire should be produced in that same uh, realm right so uh, back to over you by the night uh, I, I kind of like I said I got the inspiration from a, from a different song and I was like yo man I, I love how this sounds I feel like I have a song in me, right, that, that should come out, and, and it should be this song right here. So, Nick came up with the music, naturally, and uh, this is it right here, Over You By The Night. Check it out. Started by another round for the whole damn place, and I'll be over you by the night, and I'll be over you in a couple of drinks. Stage karaoke, to say. Well, uh, this song right here is the uh, last quote-unquote country song on the EP. Uh, it's called No Wonder Why. It's another um, refurbished version of a song we did. And uh, this actually, people were most excited about this on my SoundCloud that talked about it when they heard I was doing a new EP. They were like, oh, we really love No Wonder Why and we hope it's released. Uh, it's it's crazy. So we were like, man, I, I love that song. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, Nick loves the song too. This is one of his favorite musical uh, pieces that he did. So uh, no wonder why is really just the the culmination of, man, I can't get over this girl. And uh, it's really not strange. I mean, we could tell, right? You're looking at all that moment, especially when you get over a love, uh, and you're looking back and you're like, gosh, man, no wonder I keep thinking about this girl. Her stuff is everywhere, or my stuff that reminds me is everywhere. Uh, and it's really that, that piece right before you get to a new love, right? Uh, that's what this really, that's what this song is. It's that last moment right before you get over it. So, uh, that's really where this song comes from for me. That's, that's how I wrote it. Uh, and we're, again, this is that full version. This is a great vocal piece for me. So no wonder why. Check it out. Spend all of my time trying to get you off my mind. It's not easy replacing a broken heart. No wonder why I can't get over you. Cause everything I find reminds me of. Uh, so, in case you can't tell from the first five songs, we're really excited. <laughs> it's kind of an inside joke between me and JC, but uh, I really am. I can't wait to share this with y'all. Uh, seriously. This song um, is called How Fitting, the Haters Gonna Hate. A couple years ago, as you guys know, I did uh, a racing song, B00 Take 00. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the hype that I've built to this moment. I wouldn't be able to jump in both feet, uh, moving to Nashville to try to pursue music full time if it wasn't for the fan base and the support that I've had uh, up to this point. So this song right here uh, is the new bracket rap song uh hgh haters gonna hate check it out yeah we turn the stage lights out i'm at the finish line and then we miss y'all you hit the top shout out huddle pick it a wrist off i let it go when it's lift out talking about me y'all when i ain't make the list got them all pissed out call me kevin helms thank y'all for checking out this video i really appreciate it march 18th part-time cowboy 
Get it on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Spotify. <laughs> you can probably download it illegally on YouTube. <laughs> so in retrofitting fashion, like it, share it, post it, tell everyone you know. <laughs> <laughs>